Hey guys and gals, Froggy here. Well, every man's got to have a chainsaw, right? I don't have, you know, acres of woodlot that I need to clear or anything uh, near that. So my first couple of choices might have been a different brand. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Steel or Husqvarna probably, probably make better chainsaws. However, comma... I do have a lot of Ryobi tools, and I've never had really any problem with Ryobi tools. Those are battery tools up there. So I thought I'd give this uh, gas-powered Ryobi chainsaw, I'd give it a chance. It's a 20-inch bar, so that's pretty good. Um, let me see. some. It's a 50cc engine. I wanted something that had the power because I do have, uh, my neighbor actually has a couple of trees that need to come down and uh, around the base of the tree is maybe as big as the top of this. They're, they're big, big damn trees. So I didn't want a 12, 14 or even a 16 inch bar. So I got a 20 inch bar. Um, it looks like this has everything except gasoline. It's two cycles, so you mix the gas and the oil. Um, I think it has some bar oil. Oh, wait a minute. Bar and chain oil. That's the replacement chain and the pitch on it. I guess I do have to buy some bar and chain oil. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty cheap. Uh, let's open it up. Here's a little more detail on it. Uh, like I said, a 50cc engine is going to give me power. The anti-vibration handle, automatic oiler. That's pretty standard on all of them. Toolless air filter is good because you do have to change the air filter or clean it at least a lot because um, of all the wood chips flying and dust and everything. The anti-vibration handle, I like that. It includes... Uh, something you add to protect your engine from ethanol. You know, everybody thinks, oh, well, ethanol is so great in your gasoline. No, not really. It's just something the government forced on us, uh, mainly because of the um, corn lobby. <laughs> Sorry, farmers. Uh, so, yeah, all your gasoline now has a certain part of it that's uh, ethanol which reduces your miles per gallon by the way. I'm not sure if the box got messed up or that maybe maybe that'll just pop back in when I open it up. It came in a in a huge box that was really the, too big of a box for what was inside. Uh, and this is definitely not a Pelican case, I'll tell you that. Well, let me get two hands here. Yeah, the case is okay. It's just that the inside, the saw, which is heavy, had shifted around. So it's really a, kind of a clever case. Uh, I think they call this blow mold. It's not an expensive case, but the design of it, what the heck, the design's pretty nice. And if you made a case that, you know, also, well... It really covers everything. I mean, you could throw this in the back of your truck and uh, not worry about it too much, right? There we go. There. Yeah, see, this piece had popped that way. And it comes back. <clears throat> well, I need my strong hand. You have to pull back to release the brake. Yeah. Frog is going to get a workout on his hands. All right. Let's take it out. Now I'm going to need two hands to get it out. I think probably what I would do if I ever had to transport it would be just put 
put a big old strap around there. Strap it so that it can't go anywhere. So let's let's look at this bad boy. It does have a a protective thing on the end of the bar. Hold on. So remember, these are all razor sharp. Razor sharp. So this is the protective tip on the end, which prevents you from doing a plunge cut, but it is removable. You can just unscrew it and then use it as a normal uh, saw. It's a safety feature. Um, I don't know. I, I think because of the size of what I'm going to be cutting into, I'm going to have to take that off right off to begin with. Full start. Yeah, I am going to have to get uh, some oil to mix with the gas, and then, like I said, this this goes with the oil gas mix also, and then I'm going to have to get some chain bar oil also. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to start it up for you right now, um, but. Uh, after my trip to the big box uh, hardware store, I will uh, start it up for you, probably tomorrow, okay?